My name is Neil Graf Radford. I'm a neurologist at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville. We've been developing a blood test that predicts some of the risk of who is going to get Alzheimer's disease. And in our recent presentation also shows um, that people with diabetes or type 2 diabetes um, are more likely to get vascular disease causing dementia rather than Alzheimer's disease. The two commonest causes of dementia are Alzheimer's disease and vascular related diseases. Um, we have um, pre previously reported uh, a blood test that reflects the risk of um, getting Alzheimer's disease in the future and five other studies have now replicated uh, what we have presented. Uh, this blood test is a measure of a protein in the blood called the amyloid beta protein which is deposited in the brains of patients with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, however, there have been three contradictory studies that um, disagree with the five studies that, I, that have replicated what we have found. Interestingly, uh, at the uh, International Alzheimer Meeting in Hawaii, uh, which um, we presented our findings um, on this blood test in the SALSA study, that's um, a study of t that takes place in Sacramento um, and is of people of Mexican ancestry. Uh, Mary Hahn from the University of San Francisco is the principal investigator on uh, that study. And she uh, worked with our group, um, including Stephen Yonkin, who's the leader of the, of the group, Linda Yonkin, uh, Julia Crook, John Lucas, Ron Peterson, and myself. And what this study showed uh, was that in the whole group, uh, the blood test that we had reported didn't seem to show the same as we had previously shown. But we realized that 45% of the cases and 25% of the controls in the SALSA population actually had diabetes. So we divided the group by those who were diabetic from those who were not diabetic. And interestingly, in the non-diabetics, the blood test showed exactly what we had previously shown in other populations. But in diabetics, um, the blood test uh, was different. It did not have the typical signature of impending Alzheimer's disease. And this is in keeping with three published studies of patients with diabetes who died with dementia and the pathology uh, is not typical of Alzheimer's disease but more typical of vascular disease. So our conclusion from this uh, new uh, study is that uh, this blood test does indeed uh, reflect some of the risk of who's going to get Alzheimer's disease, kind of like a cholesterol test for vascular disease, but also reflects in diabetics and non -di versus non-diabetics that the diabetics, are, when they uh, get dementia, are less likely to have Alzheimer type pathology, but more likely to have vascular type pathology causing the dementia.